Intel Z690 chipset, supports 12th Gen Intel Core processors for LGA1700 socket. PCIe Gen 5, M2 General 4, EATX form factor, 10-layer PCB, 21-phase PWM, metal-reinforced PCIe slots, NVIDIA Schley Ready, pre-installed rear I.O. cover. 2 DIMM dual channel supports up to 64 GB 6600 MHz plus, OC, 9 USB 3.2 General 2 ports, 6 X Type A, 2 X Type C Gen 2x2, 1 X Type C header. 6 SATA 6 GB per second, 3 XM2 key M110 mm, 1 XM2 key E32 mm with installed Wi-Fi 6E, BT 5.2. Onboard ARGB lighting plus 2X ARGB, 2X RGB headers fully customizable through EVGA Elite X1. Top reviews from the United States. Buy if you're into XOC or have a burning hole in your pocket. One of the reviews of this board mentioned that this would be fine for daily use and should NT discourage people from buying because it markets to overclocking. I disagree. This board doesn't have iGPU support for non fsqu 12th and soon to be 13th gen, and you'd be better off paying for a board that's a fraction of the cost of this board like the MSI Z690 Pro AD4, D5 for less than $200. The features for the board are for overclocking enthusiasts. If you're an average consumer looking to build a PC, don't buy this board, it's diminishing returns. If you really want this board because of the aesthetic, the feature set is exactly what you want and or you just have a big budget, then go for it I guess. Setting aside the above, the Z690 Dark Kingpin is great for XOC, OC use. Good memory controller and VRMs. 24-pin and EPS connectors are conveniently placed for right-angle connection. Socket is rotated for LN2, DICE, LHE pots. If you're reading this far, then you probably are looking at this board for OC, XOC use and get the gist, so need I say more?